تحترقون تحترقون ثم تصلون ثم تحترقون تحترقون ثم تصلون. What does it mean? It means you burn and you burn then you pray. Then you burn then you burn then you pray. Then you burn then you burn then you pray. Then you burn then you burn then you pray. Then you burn then you burn then you pray. Meaning that at any given moment in time we are sinning. At any given moment in time we are committing some sin with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Perhaps someone's heart will overlook. Perhaps our mother wants us. Perhaps we haven't paid some debts. Perhaps some business deal that we are not doing correctly. Perhaps some obligation that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put upon us that we are not looking after. So at any given moment in time we are sinning so much. And that is why the Prophet used the word تحتلقو, meaning that you're burning. What burns? Your body burns. Your soul burns. Your iman burns. Your good deeds burn up. And then you pray. Meaning that the water extinguishes the fires so in the same way your salah extinguishes that burning sensation going through your body, the burning of your iman, burning of your soul. Salah stops that. It's like water to the fire. It's like putting water to the fire in the same way as sadaqah extinguishes Allah's anger. This is what Salah is all about. It's about putting up the fires that we create in ourselves and in our deeds every single day. <laughs> salah is about, not just about connecting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but it's connecting in a way where we not only create a link with Allah subhanahu but preserve the links that we actually created in the past. My brothers in Islam, the Prophet said in Fiqh Hadith, he said, when someone prays, in one hadith in uh, Mustafa al he said, when someone prays, and stands up for prayer, all his bad deeds are put on his shoulders. So they're piled up on his shoulders. Can you imagine? And you're praying, all the bad things on your shoulders. When he does ruku, some of them fall off. And when he does sujood, all of them falls off. And that is the benefit of our salah. It purifies our bad deeds. It removes our sins. And totally you come out as if, alhamdulillah, I've been purified again. And that's why the Prophet said, he said, is there anyone who has a shower five times a day, can that person ever be dirty? The companion said, no, Ya Rasulullah. Five times a day shower, subhanAllah, that's fantastic. How can that person be dirty? And that's why he said, in the authentic hadith in Bukhari, the salah is like a river that is in front of your house, from which you bathe in it five times a day. 